This video illustrates a method for determining the signs in the coupled coil equations. In the equations of magnetically coupled coils, the voltage in each coil does depend not only on the current flowing through it, but it also depends on the intensity flowing through the coil to which it is coupled. Sign of the term containing the autoinductance co coefficients L sub 1. We look at the current reference flowing in coil 1 and the voltage reference of coil 1. As voltage and current references have the same sense in the coil, both goes from 1 to 1 apostrophe the sign of the term containing L sub 1 is positive. Sign of the term containing the autoinductance coefficient L sub 2. We look at the reference of the current flowing through the coil 2 and in the reference voltage of coil 2. Since voltage and current references are opposite in coil 2, the intensity goes from terminal 2 to 2 apostrophe and the reference voltage goes from 2 apostrophe to 2. Thus, the sign of the term that contains L2 2 is negative. Sign of the term containing the mutual, the mutual induction coefficients M sub 1 2. We look at the reference of the current flowing through in the coil 2, in the voltage reference of in coil 1 and in the corresponding terminals of both coils. The current reference in coil 2 enters the terminal marked with the point. The equivalent intensity flowing through the coil 1 creates drain the same effect as the current I sub 2 flowing through the coil 2. The equivalent current enters the terminal marked with the point in coil 1 in the same way it did I2. As the voltage reference in coil 1 and the equivalent intensity of coil 2 that flows through the coil 1 are opposite there, equivalent intensity goes from terminal 1 apostrophe to 1 and the reference voltage goes from 1 to 1 apostrophe. Thus, the sign of the turn containing N sub 1, 2 is negative. Sign of the term containing the coefficients of mutual induction M sub 2, 1. We look at the reference of the current flowing through the coil 1. The reference voltage across the coil 2 and the corresponding terminals of both coils. The current in the coil 1 outputs from the terminal marked point. The equivalent intensity circulating in the coil 2 creates the same effect as it created in the coil 2 by the current I sub 1 flowing through the coil 1. Both currents output from the terminals with a point mark. As the voltage on the coil 2 and the equivalent current flowing through the coil 2 have the same direction in set coil, both references are from terminal 2 apostrophe to 2, then the sign of term M sub 2 1 is positive.
Finally, the equations of both coils are shown with the signs of the terms that relate coil voltage with currents flowing through them. The conclusion of this example is that the signs of the equations of the coupled coils depend on reference voltage and currents as well as the terminals. The procedure used here is general and it can be applied in cases with three or more coupled coils.